Hi, my name is Ellen and my pronouns are she, her. This year I have the great privilege of being a returning Students Association President and welcoming you to the University of Edinburgh. Whether you're joining us from the city or from afar, I am so excited to be starting this journey with you. Today I'll be taking you on a journey across our campuses and stopping off at key points to introduce you to individuals such as the Principal, the Lord Provost of the City of Edinburgh and our Rector who all want to welcome you to our community. I'm here outside of McEwen Hall. This beautiful building is our formal graduation hall but also hosts fantastic events throughout the year. Inside we'll be hearing from our principal, Peter Matheson. To all new students at the University of Edinburgh, hello, welcome, congratulations and buckle up for a fantastically exciting ride. My name is Peter Matheson and I have the huge honour of being the principal of the University of Edinburgh. It's always exciting to be welcoming a new cohort of students to join us. I'm disappointed that this year we're doing it virtually rather than in person, but that is the way of our current world as we all know only too well. The COVID-19 pandemic has turned all of our lives upside down and has posed particular challenges for all of you as you complete your school education or whatever else you've been doing in the last year or so and plan to move on to your university careers. You should be enormously proud of yourselves. Earning a place at the University of Edinburgh is a fantastic achievement in any year. To have done it in a global pandemic is particularly impressive. We are heavily oversubscribed with high quality applicants. We get 10 applications for every place that we can fill. And so you're already highly selected just by being in this new admission cohort. You've earned yourself a place at one of the world's great universities in one of the world's great cities. The challenge to you all now is to make the most of the opportunity that your hard work has earned. So the first and most important message is welcome to you all. You're joining a community built on hundreds of years of excellence. The University of Edinburgh was founded in 1583, so you are now officially part of the university's 439th year. Edinburgh degrees are respected and valued all over the world. We have over a quarter of a million alumni all over the globe. In a few years time, in the magnificent setting of McEwen Hall, you will join them when you graduate, almost certainly. Nothing is guaranteed, but we know you have the ability to succeed and we will do everything we can to help you to get there. We currently have around 41,000 students and over 15,000 staff. So this is a big university and sometimes that can be daunting for new members of our community. Everybody here wants you to succeed, wants you to enjoy yourselves, wants you to feel part of the wonderful historic institution that is the University of Edinburgh. We have a very cosmopolitan community with students and staff from around 160 countries. Get to know that person next to you in the classroom, in the library or in the coffee shop. He, she or they might be a future prime minister or billionaire or both. Celebrate difference, respect others who might be very different from you in background, previous experience, views or ethos. Learn to disagree well. You can learn from people that you disagree with just as much, possibly more, than from those with whom you agree. Very importantly, if you feel that you need help, please ask for it. To seek help is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength and of self-awareness. Similarly, if you see others that appear to need help, talk to them, befriend them, offer to help. This is the essence of community. Some of you might be feeling the way I felt when I arrived at university. Sadly, that was over 40 years ago, but some things will never change. I felt that I didn't belong and that others were more clever and more accomplished than me and that somehow I didn't deserve to be there. If I can give you one piece of genuine, heartfelt advice, it's to not let that type of feeling get in your way. You deserve to be here. You've earned your place. Use it, build on it, make yourself the best that you can be. Do something to help to make the world a better place. The last academic year was a particularly difficult one for everyone here and indeed for everyone at universities the world over and in society more generally. The pandemic created uncertainty, fear, caution and disruption of lifestyles on a scale not seen in my lifetime, let alone in yours. 
My colleagues tried their very best to provide security and safety for all of our students. We inevitably got some things wrong, but I genuinely believe that we got much more right than we got wrong. What is beyond doubt is that we learned lessons that will be helpful to you and to all future students of the University of Edinburgh. This year must be and will be better. We believe you'll enjoy being in Edinburgh and you'll benefit enormously from the experience that the University of Edinburgh can provide for you. We believe that by following the best advice from public health authorities and government guidelines, we can do everything possible to protect your safety. Nothing in life is risk-free, but we will do everything in our power to minimise risk and to protect you so that you can flourish here. Your experience here will be a hybrid one. We, like all major universities, used to run lectures with hundreds of students in large lecture theatres. This will not happen this year. Some of your teaching will be online. The proportion will vary in different courses and for different year groups. I want you to know that the University of Edinburgh has many leading experts on digital education. Some of my colleagues wrote the textbooks on these subjects long before anyone had heard of COVID-19. As much as possible of your experience here will be in person or face to face. We know from surveys of student and applicant opinion that this is what you want and we will endeavour to provide it as safely and efficiently as we can. Please try to enjoy the city and the region. Edinburgh is a capital city, a historic place with world heritage sites, many Harry Potter memorabilia, wonderful festivals including the Fringe which is reappearing this year after falling victim to the pandemic last year and will be even more lively in years to come. We're surrounded by beautiful countryside, great places to walk if you're able. We have seaside, hills, cobbled streets, rivers with wildlife, music, dance, theatre, sport, all within easily reachable distance. Make the most of living here for the next few years. Make friends, meet people, maybe meet your life partner as I did at university. Above all else, enjoy yourselves and form memories that will last you the rest of your lives. Welcome to the University of Edinburgh. Congratulations on your progress so far. Every best wish for the exciting ride that you have ahead of you. We will celebrate your successes with you, do our best to support you in the dark and difficult times, for there will be some of those, and embrace all of you into the community that is the University of Edinburgh. Good luck, take care of yourself and others, seize the opportunities and thank you for choosing this fabulous university. Here in Bristow Square, you'll find our Health and Wellbeing Centre, as well as two of your Students' Association venues, TV at Row House and Potter Row. Inside all of our venues, you'll find informal study, social and hospitality spaces, key services like our advice place and amazing events, including the Edinburgh Festivals. We are always happy to see you, so make sure you come in and say hello at any time. We are Edinburgh University Students' Association an organisation run for and by students. Every University of Edinburgh student automatically becomes a member of the Students' Association and together we work collectively to support, represent and entertain you. Your Students' Association is run by us, your elected full-time sabbatical officer team. I'm Ellen, your president. I'm Beth, your vice president community. I'm Rika, your vice president activities and services. I'm Tara, your Vice President Education. And I'm Aisha, your Vice President Welfare. We know the last year has been different and often difficult. Whether you were finishing school remotely, putting your travel plans on hold, or taking exams from your bedroom, it was a tough time. But now it's time to band together for our societies, our courses and our rights. That's why we've been working throughout the summer to ensure that whether you're joining us on campus for the first time, or returning from afar, you're welcomed in true Students' Association style. From securing rent pauses for students in halls of residence to supporting over 300 societies and student groups, we're here to enhance your student experience. 
Whether you're looking to campaign or grab a great coffee, our key services are here for you. The Advice Place offers free and impartial advice in areas such as finances, academic concerns and accommodation. Give them a call, send them an email or check out their advice online. Get academic support from other students through our peer learning and support scheme, improve your CV through our volunteering service, put your business ideas into action through social enterprises and make the most of our global community through our Global Buddies programme. Your student representatives are here for you. Which is why any student can get involved in making a change by bringing a motion to Student Council. Your student representatives include liberation officers who make sure marginalised student voices are heard, section reps who represent communities of students who are underrepresented in higher education, and over 1,600 programme reps who work on a local level to improve feedback, teaching, services and spaces. Join one of our many societies or student groups to make new friends, give something new a go or rediscover your passion. We're also here to entertain you. Check out Pottero, our famous library bar, or the garden at TBIT for affordable drinks, food, events, and more. From quizzes and sports to live music, there's always something going on. Check out our website for event listings. We work to create a better and safer university experience. No Excuse encourages us all to take collective responsibility for ending sexual violence and harassment on campus. Our Black Lives Matter pledge is here to ensure that every student gets the university experience they deserve. We're also here to help you live your best green life. We recently launched our sustainability policy to address our environmental impact and create positive and long-lasting change. From making our menu 50% veggie and vegan and tedia to going paperless wherever possible. We are your student association, meaning we are always here for you. And together, Edinburgh is ours. Next up, we're here at the City Chambers where the Lord Provost of the City is waiting to welcome you to Edinburgh. Welcome to Edinburgh. I want to introduce Scotland's historic capital to you and to talk a bit about the success and the recovery of our city. Edinburgh is a warm, friendly, welcoming 900-year-old capital comprising just over half a million residents, embracing all cultures, nationalities and faiths and is home to many civic, civil, political and academic institutions. The city also continues to have a substantial international and national impact, influencing key sectors including science, technology, business, architecture, education, engineering, the economy and sports and the arts. Our city is a strong economic engine with robust social and environmental credentials, winning much praise around the world as the best city to live. Thanks to its low crime rate, high levels of education and the overall health of its workforce. It's also been voted the most attractive city in the UK, the UK's top destination for students to live and study, and as a top 20 European visitor destination, it is home to world-leading year-round festivals, attractions and UNESCO heritage and literature sites. In relation to social and environmental consideration, our city is home to almost 5,000 charitable and civil society organisations. It offers substantial volunteering opportunities and benefits from over 20,000 businesses and has substantial targets and schemes to reduce air carbon, improve recycling and upcycling and increase access to land for community growers. Against this backdrop and managing the wide-ranging impacts of COVID-19, you come to Scotland's ancient capital, which is now re-emerging from many months of limitations on our lives. Now, we've all been affected by the impact of COVID in different ways. But here in Edinburgh, we have also seen many positive, with communities coming together, more people giving their time for others, and above all, the profile of our health workers, our carers, our volunteers, and our enterprises becoming much higher. Now, as we grow our immunity through vaccination and we manage the legacy of COVID, our city is on a more positive footing as we implement our phased plan to return our city to success. For those of you arriving for the first time, you'll get a sense of a city returning to its best with some bustle in our streets. And for those of you returning, you'll see a city managing a gradual return. You will experience more face-to-face -face interaction and above all, 
you will feel the warmth of our people as you move around our great city. Please enjoy your time studying here. Enjoy all that our city has to offer. But above all else, keep yourselves and others safe and secure. Thank you all. We're now going to hear from the Sports Union President, Gregor Malcolm. 8,000 members, 160 intramural teams and 65 sports clubs, ranging from archery and American football to wakeboard and water ski. We really do have something for everyone studying here at Edinburgh. Whether you've been active all your life or are looking to get involved in a sport for the first time, our clubs are always welcoming new members. They are filled with warm, optimistic students from all year groups and backgrounds and are here to help you find your place and people at Edinburgh. Supported by our dedicated staff team, over 270 coaches and countless volunteers, Sport at Edinburgh has some of the most fantastic people you will come across during your time at university. For those looking to be involved in physical activity with less of a time commitment, our intramural programme continues to go from strength to strength. You can enter or join a team with people you meet on your course or in accommodation, competing against others within the university. A fantastic way to get to know people outside the classroom. For those athletes competing at a national or international level, our performance programme, staff and coaches can help you continue to strive for excellence and follow in the footsteps of athletes such as Dame Catherine Granger and Sir Chris Hoy. In addition to our sporting offering, we continue to develop the opportunities and programmes run by our Coaching and Volunteering Academy. Through workshops, lectures and funding support, our volunteers are always building on their skill set and qualifications, increasing their employability during their time with us. Our world-class facilities here at Edinburgh are open to all. They include state-of-the-art outdoor pitches at Peffermill playing fields, alongside a fantastic cardio and free weights provision at Pleasant Sports Complex. We also have our swimming pool based at St. Leonard's Land, satellite gym based at the Easter Bush campus, and the Fur Bush Outdoor Activity Centre on the banks of Loch Tay. You are truly spoiled for choice here at Edinburgh. It is safe to say the past 18 months haven't been as we all hoped or expected, and starting a new chapter of your life currently might seem daunting. Here at the Sports Union, we continue to ensure that every student gets the most out of their time at university through sport. With a return to sport in a full flow, this could be one of the biggest years in our history, and we want you to experience it with us. The memories and friendships I made for my five years in the Hare and Hounds Running Club will live with me for the rest of my life. The club was more than simply about sport and socials. It was a support network for its members through the toughest times. I wholeheartedly hope that you get to experience the same for yourself. We are incredibly excited to welcome you to Edinburgh. Please join us at our events and welcome week to learn more about our 65 sports clubs, intramural teams and the facilities we have on offer. Whether you are joining us for one year, four years or even longer, your time as an Edinburgh student will absolutely fly by. My advice would be to work hard, take advantage of all the incredible opportunities which will come your way, and most of all, enjoy every second. Good luck with your journey, and remember, we are Edinburgh. Here on Central Campus, the Bay Centre is the university's innovation hub for data science and artificial intelligence. Here we're going to hear from our rector who convenes the university's governing body and represents students and staff. My name is Deborah Kayembe. I am the rector of the University of Edinburgh, the 54th order of this distinguished role. Throughout my life, I've been working tirelessly in campaigning for human rights and advocating against racism, inequality, children in need, domestic violence, child abuse, and the issues of refugees and migrants. I believe we should work for a better world at any cost, where every human being is treated with dignity and respect, regardless of the color of their skin gender or place of birth. A very warm welcome to each and every one of you. Welcome back to the University of Edinburgh. At last, 
this beautiful day has arrived. I'm sure you all have been eagerly waiting for this day. The role of the rector is central to the good governance of the university. Rectors make sure that court meetings are carried out effectively in a fair manner. This enables the views of all members of court to be expressed and considered as part of the decision-making process. My role is to preside at the meetings of the University Court, the university governing body, to manage court meetings and to assure that key decisions and conclusions are drawn out from discussions. It is also up to me to promote a culture of openness and debate by facilitating the effective contribution of members in discussions, particularly students and staff members. In the absence of the Chancellor, I preside over general council meetings of the university. In this pivotal role, I gain an in-depth understanding of how the university functions and its strategic priorities, as well as an insight into the overall working of the Scottish higher education sector and access to wide professional networks. Reflecting on the past few months, the current academic year has been one of extraordinary challenge for the university, as it has been for many of us individually. The challenges have risen not just from the pandemic, to the global management of which staff and alumni of the university have made a huge contribution, but from other geopolitical development not least the UK exit from the European Union. The effect of this development will go on on being felt for many years. I am pleased to take on this role as the university launches a review on its past association with slavery, colonialism, race and racism, and pledges to address the findings and learn lessons as it strives to achieve equality, diversity and inclusion. I believe the debate that will no doubt take place can be conducted in accordance with the university statement on freedom of expression and in a respectful and considerate manner. We shall treat each other with respect, tolerance, dignity. Allow me to say, Black Lives Matter. It's simply a commitment to support a fairer society and an equal opportunity for all. Peace be upon you. Wa aleku wa salam. Thank you. One of the main things I've learned throughout the past year is how important community is. Here at the Edinburgh Biocorter, a key place for our medical students, we're going to hear from Professor Linda Bald about some of the university's work in tackling this pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected lives and livelihoods all around the world. University staff and students have worked extremely hard to contribute to addressing it through research, scholarship, and providing advice to policymakers and the public. University of Edinburgh scientists and researchers have been involved in hundreds of studies, examining the virus itself, the prevention and treatment of COVID-19, vaccine effectiveness, human behavior during the pandemic, and the impact of public health measures taken to address it. Beyond COVID-19, the university is using its influence in many other ways for the benefit of Edinburgh, Scotland, and beyond. From our research on climate change and how the health of humans, animals and ecosystems are bound together, to studies on culture and creativity and data and digital technologies. In addition, our learning and teaching is building the next generation of leaders, thinkers and creators. During this academic year, we can all play our part to reduce the spread of COVID-19. The key things that all of us can do to keep ourselves, staff, students and others as safe as possible includes following guidance, and that includes signage, 
in university buildings, in accommodation, and also, of course, in the wider community. Now, this means avoiding crowded spaces, distancing where possible, keeping an eye on ventilation, and wearing face coverings where required. Also, taking up testing, which falls into two categories. First, if you don't have symptoms, test yourself regularly. The university has an ongoing program of testing called TestEd, which involves a research project that aims to make easily accessible, non-invasive testing available to all students and staff. Test sites are available in multiple locations across campus and in or near university accommodation. You provide a simple saliva sample, no swabs needed, and the results are returned to you securely within 24 hours. There will be lots of information on how to sign up to join TestEd, which you can do in advance or once you're here in Edinburgh. Free lateral flow devices are also available for asymptomatic testing and can be done in your place of residence. Secondly, if you do develop symptoms, you should self-isolate immediately and access testing through the National Health Service. Finally, please do take up a COVID-19 vaccine if you haven't yet had your first or second dose. This is vital and available free to all. If you're traveling to the university from overseas and have not yet had the vaccine in your home country, you will be able to get the vaccine in the UK. There will be drop-in clinics for vaccination on campus. King's Buildings is a key campus for our science, engineering and mathematics students and I got to enjoy studying on this campus for a lot of my own degree too. Chemistry graduate and 2021 winner of the Being Edinburgh Award, Elizabeth Feldstein, also studied on this campus and has a message from you from her home in Canada. Hello to all new University of Edinburgh students. I would like to extend my warmest welcome to the University. As I reflect back on my years at Edinburgh, it's clear to me how fundamental my time at the university was as I became the person I am today. As I sat in your position seven years ago, many told me that my years at university would be some of the best of my life. Since graduating, I've come to realize this to be true. When I came to Edinburgh from Canada in 2014, I was a shy young student. I was excited for the adventure and independence that the university offered. I had chosen to study chemistry because I enjoyed the subject and felt that it would provide me with a meaningful career at the forefront of science and innovation. But the specific career path and purpose which I would pursue was the unknown and what I hoped to determine during my time as a student. Outside of what was taught in the lecture halls, some of my most significant experiences stemmed from my involvement in extracurricular activities. In particular, I felt that I learned a great deal from my peers and colleagues. To me, the University of Edinburgh is a place where people from diverse backgrounds and experiences can come together in an effort to solve some of the world's biggest problems. The activities that I was involved in allowed me to identify my motivations to work in pursuit of important goals such as improving gender equality and the transition to a more sustainable world. Ultimately, the career path which I chose to pursue was guided by the values I identified were important to me during my time as a student. As a whole, my time at university was filled with wonderful memories and experiences which I reflect upon fondly, but there were certainly challenging moments as well. It was these challenges which provided me with an opportunity to find new ways of thinking, new ideas, and instilled in me the importance of hard work, perseverance, and resilience qualities which have allowed me to be successful beyond my time at Edinburgh. The opportunity to have access to world-class education and study at one of the greatest universities in one of the most wonderful cities in the world is incredible. I wish you all the greatest success and the best of luck in this next chapter of your lives.
For our last stop today, we are going to the Easter Bush campus, which is a key site for our veterinary students and just one example of the beautiful rural spaces just outside the city centre. Edinburgh is a wonderful city with so much to offer and to discover. We're going to hear from Professor Colin Harmon, who has a message for you. It is great to be able to welcome you to the university for our 21-22 academic year. I know what a challenging time it has been for you all, new and continuing students. Normal life in education really hasn't existed for some time now, academically and the crucial social dimension of student life. We've worked really hard over the recent months to plan on something much more normal. We can't rewind time, sadly, and make it how it would have been pre-pandemic. While society opens up fast, we have to be able to do so in a way that's safe and can also respond to events as they unfold over the semester. We're currently planning for a hybrid induction with a mix of in-person and digital events. We understand the importance of providing new students with an opportunity to build social and academic networks. So many of our in-person events during Welcome Week will offer you a chance to connect with staff and other students. Students will be able to safely enjoy an on-campus student experience in Welcome Week and beyond, which enables you to access all that student life has to offer, from society and sports events to live entertainment. We'll offer whatever is possible, and we'll always work to make things the most flexible they can be. As important to us as your education and social life is your own well-being. The university is committed to a quality of opportunity for all of its students and promotes a culture of inclusivity. We encourage you to take all the opportunities presented to you to think about these issues during your transition to university. This is a unique time in your life when you get to hear, agree with, disagree with, and be challenged by views inside and outside the classroom. The shaping of your views and the ability to appreciate the views of others is one of the brilliant things about university. Embrace this and get involved but we also have training courses online on a range of issues around diversity and inclusiveness and the promotion of a healthy campus culture across all of our behaviours. This is part of an extensive range of specialised support services on offer to students, from the Institute for Academic Development to student counselling services. This is all about your wellbeing and mental health, including our new Health and Wellbeing Centre right in the middle of Bristol Square. Have a wonderful time as you join us at the university. We are thrilled to have you here. We'll work together to face the challenges the year will inevitably throw up. But for now, just breathe in this wonderful institution and city. We'll do our best for you always. Keep in touch with us, with me, with your school, and remember that we're here to help you become what you know you will become. Amazing Edinburgh graduates changing the world around you. I am really looking forward to celebrating the start of a new academic year with you. After a year that's been primarily digital, I'm looking forward to the opportunities we'll have to come together in person and online, to support each other in reaching our full potential and to build a vibrant university community. We know that navigating the challenges of the past 18 months won't have been easy, but remember that being a student at the University of Edinburgh is so much more than what happens in your lectures and your tutorials. Your Student Association is here to connect you to like-minded people, support you on those tougher days, and celebrate the achievements, big and small, of our amazing community. Speaking of community, make sure to join Platform One, the university's online community place. On Platform One, you'll find other people starting out here at Edinburgh, students in later years, staff and former students from all around the world, ready to offer advice, friendly support and share their experiences of life here and when you're ready, the world beyond. You are always welcome here. From your first day to your last, myself, your Students Association and your University will be by your side. See you soon.